Hey guys, Sean here. Today I'm going to show you how to do an oil change on your 2022 Frontier Pro 4X. For any of your Nissan or Infiniti needs, aftermarket or OEM, hit us up at Z1 Motorsports or Z1OffRoad.com. So for the first step of this oil change, what I like to do is, before I do anything, go ahead and loosen the oil cap, take the oil cap off, and set it to the side somewhere where it won't fall or collect any dirt or anything like that. So after you take the oil cap loose, uh, just to kind of help it drain a little bit better, uh, the next step would be to get your truck up in the air or get up under it. So now that you have your truck in the air or you're underneath the truck, uh, your next step is going to be to locate your engine drain plug and your oil filter. The engine drain plug is going to be right here and your engine oil filter is going to be behind this plate and this other plate here. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove these four bolts and then there's another two bolts behind this that you'll have to remove to get access to the oil filter. Next, we're gonna remove this inspection cover right here. And right here, after we take this cover off, you're gonna see this wicker thing and your oil filter will be right there, just above it. All right, next step, grab your drain pan or whatever container you're gonna to use to catch your waste oil. Next step, we take out the drain plug. The drain plug is 14 millimeter. All right, here comes the mess. Woo! Bring this up a little bit. All right, so while that's draining, uh, fish out your drain plug that you might have dropped in your oil, and we're gonna go ahead and replace the crush washer on here. So to replace this crush washer on here, what I like to do is I'll get a razor blade or something thin, kind of sharp, and try to force it up under there, lift it, just give it a little push right there till you see it even just about the whole way around. And then you just spin that down off of there. All right? Get rid of that, throw that one away. Take the new one. You want to put this side facing outward this side towards the drain plug like that spin that guy all the way back up there all the way until it stops you it's okay if it has a little bit of a gap so when the flow stops or whenever you get to about this point where it's just kind of dripping you can go ahead and replace the drain plug you have your factory drain plug back in the pan we're gonna go ahead and tighten it until the crush washer is flat now that you have the crush washer closed down a bit we're gonna go ahead and go behind it torque it to about 25 foot pounds Next step is going to be to replace the oil filter. Uh, on these trucks, if you don't pull off this steel skid plate right here, uh, the little tray that they give you from factory for the oil to drain down into will make a big mess. It'll like curl around this channel and it'll catch all in the undershroud down here. So what you'll want to try to do is to get you maybe some aluminum foil or like a water bottle and just kind of cut it, stick it on there and extend it past the under shroud to where you can get it into your drain pan. And you don't, that way you don't have to worry about it catching in here and then you're gonna have oil all down the underside of the truck. So after you make your anti-mess device, uh, what you're gonna wanna do is remove the oil filter. This one's a little bit tight, so I'm gonna just use a pair of channel locks to try to get it to spin here then I'll grab the by hand
So next up, while that's draining, go ahead and pre-fill your oil filter uh, with your oil of choice. You don't want to have an empty filter when you go to start it up. While I'm filling it up, what I like to do is also try to overfill it just a bit, kind of like this. That way I can just grab some with my finger and then go ahead and lube the O-ring. So we're gonna pull it off. And as soon as I get it off here, I'm gonna try to tilt it up like that so it doesn't pour everywhere. Oh, see, it's just a little bit extra. And then squeeze it out of here like that. But you got your oil filter out. Before we replace new one, we're gonna go ahead and just give this little area a wipe just so that we don't add any dirt into the engine. Give that a little wipe down. It doesn't have to be like polished or anything like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and screw on our new oil filter. And for this oil filter, you're only gonna want this hand tight. You should not be using any tools to tighten this and you don't need all your strength, just like that. So after we get our oil filter installed, we're gonna clean up this tray. We're gonna wipe it down, make sure we don't leave any oil in here. Any oil you leave in here is going to drip down into the skid plate and then end up all under the truck. We're gonna go ahead and reinstall our inspection cover. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and tighten these bolts up. These two are 10 millimeters. Next, we're gonna reinstall this skid plate finisher piece. Uh, this side goes towards the driver's side. There's a little hook to catch it. Then you just line your bolts up in here. Start your bolts. Start one on each side so you're not holding it up forever. Once you got those bolts started and the skid plate finisher piece, uh, you're gonna grab your 14 mil, and tighten them all down nice and snug. Now that we're done under here, we've drained our oil and replaced our oil filter and reinstalled our plates, we're gonna go back up top and fill the engine with oil. All right, so now that we're back up top, we're gonna go ahead and fill the engine up with oil. Factory calls for about 5.3 quarts. When you're filling it up, uh, if you wanna see how much oil you need, uh, the dipstick on this truck is gonna be on the right-hand side. You're gonna go ahead and pull it out. After you've ensured that your oil level is correct, uh, we're gonna go ahead and replace the oil cap. After you fill the engine up and ensured that the level is good, what you're gonna wanna do is start the truck up and make sure that you don't have any leaks, let it run for a bit, and then you'll wanna shut the truck off and then check your oil level again before you start driving. All right guys, that's gonna wrap it up for us. If you wanna see more content like this, check out the Z1 Off-Road YouTube channel.